With the permission of the dignitaries, I now request the publisher of Nyogi Books, Sri Bikash Nyogi, to welcome the guests on this joyous occasion of the release and the presentation of the first copy of the book, The Light Within, A Different Vision of Life. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, respected dignitaries, and our honored guests. I extend a very warm welcome to you all to celebrate the release function and presentation of the first copy of the book, The Light Within, A Different Vision of Life to the President of India, Sri Pranav Mukherjee. The author of the book, Ms. Sipra Das, is well known to most of you for her outstanding work in the field of photojournalism. She too has a meaningful, beautiful mind which is always focused towards the upliftment of the society. The President has been the source of inspiration behind this book, and I welcome his support. I welcome your cooperation in helping us to spread the message of the contents of this book through your own network. In this context, I would also like to mention and acknowledge Sri Shoibal Chatterjee's contribution in shaping this book. The highest authority of India, President Pranam Mukherjee, the author and the publisher have done their bit in sharing the responsibility. I welcome the move to translate the book in other Indian language so that it reaches to all sections of people in our country and they are able to read, feel, think and act accordingly. Thank you. May I now request Mr. Kamal Kanjilal to present the bouquet to Honorable President Shiponam Mukherjee, escorted by Mrs. Tultul Niyogi. It is a privilege for me to introduce Shipra Das's book titled The Light Within, which I found to be both illuminating and inspirational. A photo chronicle of the many people who are visually impaired in this country. This is a book of photographs done with, as the publisher said, Mr. Niyogi, with so much love, with compassion, and with a deep understanding of the lives of the people who cannot see with their eyes and yet demonstrate an extraordinary ability to experience the fullness of life without any self-pity, diffidence, or bitterness. Among the many telling photographs in the book that I liked is that of Jay Call, a New Delhi teacher. While he listens to a transistor, his wife, Usha, who has also lost her sight, lovingly stitches a button into his shirt. Call says that if, when he met Usha, it was love at first sight, and adds, who says I'm blind? I cannot see with my eyes, but I can see with my heart. Yet, as the pictures in the book and the brief write-ups next to them show, we as a society continue to discriminate against the visually impaired. There is a photograph filled with poetry and pathos of Bilamangal Sardar, a 14-year-old from Kolkata. He is at the seashore, a fabulous picture, enjoying the feel, the smell, and the sound of the surf of the sea. He says, some people feel that I am helpless and a burden. 
My family and friends have no idea what I'm capable of. They think I'm abnormal. But my friends at the Blind Center, they are normal. And I don't think it's worth answering to the others who think I'm not. The visually impaired do not live a life of darkness. They shine, as the title of Shipra book says, with the light within. It is society, it is us, that continues to remain both blind and dark about their world and their extraordinary capabilities. Shipra's book goes a long way in dispelling this darkness. I thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak about this wonderful book and congratulate Shipra again for this magnificent effort. Thank you very much. Respected Rashtrapati ji, Honorable Chief Justice of India, Adarnya Advani ji, dear Raj Chengapa ji, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you would join me in extending our warm congratulations to Shipra Das, you Shipra, for your absolutely brilliant photographs, which depict with such sensitivity and insight the world of the visually disabled. I believe this book is an important contribution in breaking the silence on disability, and I thank you for that. As a woman photojournalist in what was basically a man's world, Shipra herself has broken many barriers and been an example for so many women in the field, and now she has broken a new barrier and brought the issues of disability center stage. I think you know, the world has moved on into looking at the disabled. We are signatories to the UNPRCD, and I believe that our legal framework should also reflect that. And even though we are lagging behind, the disabled are not. Today in every field, we have seen the disabled cross all these barriers, venturing into new worlds and excelling in those worlds. And I believe that they have broken the misconceptions that treated them as outcasts, rendered them uh, unable to move out of their homes or institutions. And therefore, I think this is an occasion, and particularly since the President of India has been so kind and generous to associate himself with this cause, because I believe Shipra's book goes beyond her own individual talent, talent to highlight the issue of the rights of the disabled. And if you look at the photographs, they're reaching out. And uh, are we looking at them uh, as equal citizens? That is the issue before us. And I really do thank uh, Pranabda, the Honorable Rashtrapati of India, for associating himself with this. And I'm sure that this will send a strong message to those um, policymakers, lawmakers, to wake up and make India a more sensitive place, a more equal place for the disabled, particularly the poor among the disabled. I thank you very much. I congratulate the publisher for, for taking on this, uh, this project, for this excellent publication, and once again, Shipra, You've done really very well in this venture. Congratulations. I'm in the past few years, so I can say that I'm in the past few years and I'm in the past few years. 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 कभी कभी उसके कारण मेरे क्षेत्र में विकृति भी आती है दोष उनका नहीं है कमजोरी ज, मैं जिस क्षेत्र में हूं वहीं की है लेकिन आ, मेरे पास शब्द नहीं पर्याप्त शिपरा जी को बधाई देने के लिए क्योंकि आज तो मैं यहां पर राष्ट्रपति भवन के इस भव्य ऑडिटोरियम में इस कार्यक्रम को देख रहा हूं उससे पहले व्यक्तिगत रूप से मुझे जाकर के उनकी शिप्रा जी की एक एग्जीबिशन का उद्घाटन करने का अवसर मिला और उस एग्जीबिशन का भी जो विषय था वो यही कि 
दृष्टिहीन लोगों के द्वारा उनके फोटोज लेकर के उसकी एग्जीबिशन करना और वो मैंने की थी और तब से लेकर के उनके बारे में एक मन में बहुत प्रशंसा का भाव ही नहीं लेकिन आदर का भाव रहा है मैं अभी कुछ ही समय पहले एक प्रवचन सुनने गया था और वो प्रवचन था एक दृष्टिहीन साध्वी का उत्तम प्रव प्रवचन था लेकिन विशेष बात ये थी कि वो दृष्टिहीन होते हुए भी उन्होंने एम बी किया था और फिर उसके बाद एम की थी या एम की थी और साथ साथ शास्त्रों का इतना अध्ययन था रामायण महाभारत भागवत गीता आदि का इतना ज्ञान था और इतने श्लोक कंठस्थ थे कि आश्चर्य होता था कि दृष्टिहीन होकर के भी वो इतना कुछ कैसे कर पाई होंगी बहुत अंतकरण से धन्यवाद देता हूँ राष्ट्रपति जी को कि जिन्होंने इस प्रकार का कार्यक्रम इस ऑडिटोरियम में आयोजित करने का किया किया और उसमें जिसकी भी कल्पना होगी कि इस पुस्तक का औपचारिक विमोचन जो है वो भी किसी दृष्टिहीन से करवाया जाए इतना ही नहीं तो हमारा अगर अभिनंदन आकर के पुष्पमाला दे करके किया तो वो भी उसी वर्ग के लोग हों जिसने भी इसकी कल्पना की शिपरा जी ने की या राष्ट्रपति भवन में किसी ने की जिसने भी की हो उसको भी मैं बधाई देता हूँ एट द आउटसेट आई एक्सटेंड माई वॉम फेलिस्टेशन टू ऑल द लुमिनरीज प्रसेंट इन दिस गैदरिंग आई एम ग्रेटिफाइड टू बी इन्वाइटेड एज द गेस्ट ऑफ हॉनर टू दिस सेरेमनी द बुक द लाइट विद इन authored by sipradas is certainly a work filled with creativeness which will arouse self confidence in every reader it is the finest inspiring book in its simplest form which will be appropriated by all age groups each portrait in the book tells an inspiring story of determination to succeed in one's life i am falling short of words to express the impact the book has had on me after perusing this book i completely agree that a picture can convey a strong message than a thousand words can do i must compliment sipra das for the enduring effort that she had put in every click of her camera she takes the best of people's life and locks it into the most powerful medium available frozen images which has no age language or intelligence limits mr surendra kambli an entrepreneur said at page 74 of the book i quote i was often offered jobs but i always humbly turned down turn turn them down i was not cut out for employment when you do your own business you can set your goals as high as you want i unquote it is this spirit which keeps them striving and it is this spirit which every youngster in this country must procure if india is to flourish in the world economy i urge to all citizens of india on this occasion they are as much capable and able as each one of us and ignoring them in our country's development is only to our disadvantage remember everybody should have that chance to make that change india is an amalgam of people cultures religions languages philosophies and beliefs customs and climates but whoever they are 
wherever they come from, whatever they do for a living, Indians value their diversity. I once again congratulate Sipra Das for her painstaking effort that she had put in despite numerous commitments. And I think we must all agree that the final output is prominent piece of work. This book is a sea of motivation, not only for differently abled persons, but also for every person who aspires to accomplish the death of confidence each person in the portrait has put forth in one's life is overwhelming and truly commendable and motivating. One thing that we should learn from the differently able, abled person is that we need faith. A faith that makes us confident of what we hope for and assurance about what we do, what we do not yet see. Yes, it calls for huge dose of courage to believe and do the improbable. I wish the author many more years of creativity in her field and many good wishes for the success of the book. Thank you very much. I now request Ms. Prachi and Ms. Pragya to now present with the author, Srimati Shipra Das, the first copy of the book, The Light Within, A Different Vision of Life to the Honorable President. I would also request the Honorable President Sri Mukherjee to kindly release